They told me this is her favorite station. I'm more of a, a 90s alternative and, and grunge kind of guy with some MTV 80s era rock music. But it's all good here with Nata Wesse. It's great seeing her this morning. Um, bunch of people had commented to me even after the race yesterday, like how incredible she looks and just, I mean, how she's put together. I love this color too, oh my good girl. So watched her debut race yesterday in the States for us a bunch of times, even before I left Aqueduct. Watched it a couple of times and from her breaking, like she was leaning left and kind of veered left, smashed into the gate and was off a little sluggishly too. I thought she did a lot of things well in that race and that like, as I posted on chat or that mid race handiness where she got herself up into like a, a really good spot covered up on her own. I mean, she did it pretty much under wraps with no urging whatsoever. And she just, you know, flattened out a little bit when the winter quickened away. But I think there's a lot there to build off of. And when you factor that in with her first good race over in Ireland, I like this filly. I like this filly a lot. I'm glad she's sound and came out of the race in good shape. And we'll move on to the next one after a very eventful trip. I mean, even, even turning for home or around, I guess, the three eights pole, like the field kind of bunched together and, you know, she kind of was like right on heels. Not an easy, easy spot, all things considered, for a start in the U.S. But she handled herself so well in the paddock yesterday. You were as cool as a cucumber. Yeah, all the pre-race stuff, perfect. And hopefully I get to see you before I head back home to Florida. Hopefully I get to see you once more in person at the Big A. All right, Natto, I see.